everybody, this is your normal bird lady reporting on the scene and in living color, and this is my dashing shirt brooch, Figaro, but you can call him Fig. He's a real bird. Yes, he is. He's looking a little scraggly because this guy's originally from Australia, so he has his molting seasons a little bit mixed up, but adorable nonetheless. Isn't he? In today's episode of As the Ball Turns, we're going to be talking about deceased butterflies. I know that there's a lot of um, uproar about this situation and how they are mined or gathered and is it inhumane and the rarity of such butterflies, but I will have you know that my very first illegal tattoo at the age of 16 years old was indeed... Butterflies. And you better bet your bottom dollar I studied the ins and outs of it before making that extremely important permanent decision at 16 years old. Truthfully, I've done a lot of research since then and especially after watching this outrageous video. Today I would like to react to it. Right, here we go. First up, we start off with the basic introduction. That many people have asked her to change and or speed up, which I do manually, two times, as you may know. Her husband, Peach Face Toddy Boy, wrote the lyrics and sings the song, and it still claims that Katie Joy is a tea channel. There is nothing about breaking down cults in this 20 minute long intro, and she is too stubborn to change it. Against the advice of many of her paid members and subscribers. Ooh, today it's a voiceover, and first up we have pirated TLC clips showing Cody Brown and Robin Brown's wedding. Wonder where she is, Katie Joy. Maybe she's still in Arizona, <laughs> digging up records and such. We already know that she has found Robin Brown's first divorce papers. What's the point of that, and how are you going to make a video about that? I don't get it. <laughs> and it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Friday, April 14th, 2023. And I've been in one of those, uh, I don't know, rabbit holes or mole holes, whatever, in my uh, research today and yesterday after I made some weird discoveries by going through sis my sister wife's closet. Pinterest. <laughs> She's been going down a mole hole, you guys, uh, or a rabbit hole, whatever. I personally think that she just didn't want to say rabbit hole because she has this beef channel called Down the Rabbit Hole, <laughs> who's recently been doing a series of videos satirically as a joke that she is Cody Brown's fifth wife. You may have seen it. Katie Joy posted a little something about it, calling it clickbait. So I really believe that Katie Joy is too hard-headed to even say the word rabbit hole. Instead, she will sacrifice her dignity and humor, which there was none to begin with, and call it a mole hole. Have any of you ever heard the term mole hole? Now, I have an outside cat. His name is James, and he does tippy tats on the window pane every now and then. And usually when he does that, we go outside to see that he has indeed offered us up a deceased gift of a mole. <laughs> so perhaps they do live in holes, but I've never heard the no, term. It's so bizarre what you find on Pinterest. But there was this weird detail about Cody and Robin's wedding. And Again, with the bizarre Pinterest searching. Katie Joy is the bizarre one here, searching out defunct My Sister Wives Closet Jewelry website, which used to be ran by the Sister Wives of Cody Brown, which again, he's now in a monogamous relationship. So you'll find out later, she actually had to go through the Wayback Machine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. The Wayback Machine to find um, current, as of that day and time, posts regarding my sister wife's closet. So she found their Pinterest board, which no, no longer is active, <laughs> and is telling us all about it. How long is this video, you might ask? Oh my lord, 19 minutes and 4 seconds. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. I haven't seen it yet either. I just heard the title. <laughs> Butterflies. Asterisk. I know that butterflies are important and very indigenous. In, fa in fact, I plant a butterfly garden every single year. Sure, it might be to my advantage and my vegetables as well, but nonetheless, I respect 
butterflies, okay? I'm, I'm not here for the butterfly bashing. You guys would not believe her comment section. Asterisk out. That they spent on specific accessories. That was absolutely shocking to me, and then it kind of grossed me out. And I apologize if any of you are into bugs. I don't like bugs. I don't like moths. I don't like to wear or be around things that are... Ooh, someone spending money on something extravagant? Absolutely. Shocked our big foreheaded girl and considers it weird. And I, don't, I certainly don't want to wear that, but... Moth Queen herself does not like bugs or insects or anything that crawls around. Have any of you guys seen her couch cleaning video? Because there is definitely some debris of long lost moth wings being sucked up in that carpet cleaner. <laughs> I just can't believe this video. It's even worse than the traffic ticket violation video. I just can't believe this. But Robin Brown looked like a very beautiful bride. And her You can actually hear the disdain in Julius's voice when she calls Robin a beautiful bride. <laughs> she does not believe that at all. And her wedding was this really contentious point on the show. So much so that the other wives on the show frequently frequently would talk about how Robin's wedding was so different than theirs because of the the level of extravagance. Uh, the fact that they had a huge party. Katie Joy, this wedding was definitely different than the other brides because it happened decades later they had a tlc show and were making buku money what do you expect i believe that the wedding of robin and cody brown was actually a pilot on the show sister wives so yes it was extravagant and the fact that she got to go on this like two-week vacation on her honeymoon to san diego with cody Ooh, and they had a two-week honeymoon in san diego Eek. to the wedding all of this coincided with just within weeks of, all of this happened to coincide within weeks of when Truly was actually born. So it was just very poor timing, but I guess there's never good timing in the world of polygamy. But a detail about this and just the amount of money that was spent on these items is so bizarre to me considering. Again, bizarre. The details and the extravagance of a wedding more than likely hosted or prompted or helped financially by TLC is bizarre. To Katie Joy Paulson, reporter extraordinaire all the other things that this family needed to spend money on. Like, for instance, while this was happening, Robin was on food stamps, Christina just declared bankruptcy and was on food stamps, and somehow they were able to put together this event, which included using preserved butterflies that some of them cost over $100. I'm like... Katie Joy, I don't know if you've ever been there before or not, but food stamps are allotted in six-month increments, meaning you, if you run out, you have a recertification every six months. Perhaps this was during a time frame of a six-month incremental period. I don't know why you're pretending like you don't know that fact, because I know that you get government assistance via your nurses. So you're a hypocrite. Um, stop being so judgy. Can you even imagine what it would be like to be approached by TLC for your whole family? They ask you to do a pilot. They buffer your expenses for the wedding when you're already dating your fourth wife. I mean, I'm not supporting this at all, okay? Polygamy, no. I'm just saying, this is what happened. This is how it occurred. Can you imagine the excitement in these households? All of them. Christine Brown, freshly giving birth. Maybe their food stamps were still in circulation. And uh, who cares? Like, why are you poverty shaming? I'm thrilled that this family, well, at that time, before we... We're able to see all the gross, disgusting things. I was thrilled for this family and having a leg up. Everything looked on the up and up. Of course, it was a pilot. I should have known better. However, just go back to that moment. Imagine how exciting that was. Let them have that. Coothless joy. Shocked at this because it's such a small accessory to this wedding that makes little to no sense. And the cost of it is so, ex it's so excessive. Uh, not to mention, Robin wore preserved butterflies, which are actually dead butterflies, made into hair clips on her hair, and then she gave them to all of her bridesmaids. But then after the wedding, she made everyone so, give her back the clips, and then the I'm sorry. Um, hair accessories at a wedding most definitely helped in funding by a gigantic TV production company are shocking to Katie Joy. Um, I'm sorry if you guys see Figaro's dander floating up. He's just a printing machine. Clips were preserved into a display, which she again paid for. 
this is such a weird jealous wonder regardless if they're dead like you keep liking to say they're dead um by the way a butterfly's lifespan is usually less than a month so it's not like they're out here murdering butterflies but it, it is an ornate element to a wedding and asking for them back to frame and uh, robin also paid for and how do you know that Robin didn't tell the bridesmaids, aka her sister wives, beforehand. She would like to have them back as a keepsake, as a memory. What is wrong with that? <laughs> wow, I could just cannot believe the lengthy videos that she can make on this mundane bullcrap. I can't. I can. I, I can. I'm sorry. I can. I can. I do. <laughs> I can. <laughs> and who are you to judge about what is extravagant and what we spend money on? Has anyone ever seen how drunky Joy decorates for Halloween? I might call that extravagant, especially the outdoor, indoor <laughs> decorations she attaches to her ceiling. That's not where they go, Catherine the Dumb. And Robin just doesn't like animals, you guys. Remember the, the video that was going around where she kicked a dog? So she kicks dogs and wears dead butterflies. I don't know if I can like this woman even less, but the cost of this is ridiculous. So I made this really bizarre discovery when I was on the Pinterest board for Robin and then I moved over to my sister wife's closet and then I found this board called businesses we support which then linked to this company called the butterfly store and I was like oh that's cute because Robin's like obsessed with butterflies because of I so you the negligent mules lane of cat fighting and the trapper and ensnare to the basement you go of dogs extraordinaire are judging another person who might not like animals got it I don't know the freedom of like what a butterfly signifies and i noticed that they had pinned a photograph of her and cody dancing and it was like a real butterfly clips that get you noticed and it says robin and cody's browns at robin and cody brown's wedding it was like a real butterfly clips that get you noticed okay a real butterfly clips okay so I clicked on the link and this company is out of business the company is actually owned by a former well a polygamist drew briney and two of his wives. This is super creepy how far she went back to click things and especially going on the Wayback Machine, which, you know, I've done that before on her videos, but <laughs> never mind, it's fine. And if you remember, Drew was on Seeking Sister Wives. He actually had to leave the state of Utah. He lives in Oregon now because he thought he was going to get arrested for going public. Well, his company, uh, he had a company for like a very short time called Wings and Things. And I guess Robin had this idea that she was going to have a wedding that was all designed around butterflies. And so she and went to Drew, Cody and Robin went to Drew and asked him and his wives to help them design a wedding with these dead butterflies. And Are we going to get a dead counter? Dead butterflies preserved butterflies that I have probably, no, I'm sorry, dead butterflies, okay, dead counter, sure, preserved butterflies that have already died. How long do you think these things live? And the company, which I found out about on the, on the Wayback Machine, I had to go back through there, and I found that, oh, she had to go back. <laughs> Not only did she use the use this for her hair, the butterflies were also on the cake, and I believe some of the bouquets are. Oh my gosh, preserve butterflies not only in their hair clip but on their wedding cake and their bouquets. Oh my god, you know, like the flower things. The bouquets for flowers also had butterflies. Uh, there's actually a picture of the cake from the wedding, and it says the picture above was taken at the wedding of celebrities Cody and Robin Brown from Sister Wives and was featured on national television. Robin's butter butterfly theme made a stunning impression for her wedding. Since no one else in the world can create these fabulous products, we delivered an unforgettable butterfly wedding theme. I cannot believe she is reading this advertisement from the Wayback Machine. Our real butterflies on stems come in all sizes and colors, and you can make sure to get the perfect fit. And because we have the largest selection of real butterfly gifts, you can be sure that we have what you are looking for, provide that you can find it in nature, and to the butterflies legal to sell. Order your butterflies on stems today. So there's a lot of butterflies that are literally not legal to sell because of their endangered species. That really sucks and everything, but girlfriend, you went way too deep. This is not that deep. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. <laughs> And there's this huge underground market of uh, smuggling that happens where people go with like nets and they smuggle butterflies out of specific areas and then they traffic them over to like Malaysia and, China, uh, Malaysia and Thailand and Japan and then they sell them uh, after they die through conservation efforts. It's really bizarre. I learned more about this world than I wanted to know. There's a legal... And they sell them after they die for conservation efforts? Did you even just hear what you said? 
for conservation efforts. They sell them after they die for conservation efforts. What's wrong with that? Dumb. Dumb. She is so dumb. <laughs> method that you can do this and then there's an illegal. The illegal sourcing method is so interwoven into the real world of selling butterflies uh, that source. If she pronounces illegal, illegal one more time, I'm going to be a very unhappy illegal eagle. Okay. Butterflies are a hot commodity, and I had no idea until today. But anyways, these were once live butterflies. And on Drew's website, he... <laughs> she just said that these were once live butterflies. Um, yeah. Isn't that what your rampage is about? They're dead. Remember, they're dead. They were once alive, now they're dead. Correct me if I'm wrong. In order to be dead, you do need to be once... Alive. Right, okay. Thank you. I thought so. <laughs> doesn't say at all where he gets these butterflies, how he acquired them, whether they were acquired from a legal uh, vendor or if they were through an underground. Holy cow, the now defunct website, the now defunct years long website does not say how they were acquired. Let this be Derangy Joy's new mission. But he designed an entire theme of wedding. And so he used this whole thing, uh, what the Cody and Robin's wedding to create an entire. He desired an entire thing of wedding. Ridiculous. Special day designed around butterflies. He actually had a picture of her cake. And the cake actually had a Morpho Godardi, which is a large iridescent purple butterfly. The Morpho Godardi. Morpho Godardi. This one butterfly that was at the bottom of her cake, according to their website, starts at like $119. And it can go up to $139. And then she had another tiny butterfly on her cake, which if you remember, it was the tiered cake and it had purple flowers. And then I didn't even really notice the butterflies, to be honest. I was like kind of shocked. But there is a very rare butterfly that's a part of it. And I don't, it's a Morpho Godardi. And that specific butterfly, the price of that one butterfly on their website has it listed at a, anywhere from starting at 100 as low as $119 and up to $137. She also had every one of her bridesmaids and her wore butterflies in their hair that cost $37. So according to Drew, each one of her bridesmaids wore these like butterflies called Morpho, I don't even know. It's a it's an, it's a Morpho Solkowski Lymphoraeus clip stem wire. And Morpho Solkowski Lymphoraeus clip stem Morpho Falkowski, Lymphoraeus, and she had at least eight of those. So each one of those was thirty-seven forty-five. Oh my God! Each bridesmaid had a butterfly in their hair that cost thirty-seven dollars. Let's not forget this is the fourth time we've heard about the bridesmaids wearing butterflies in their hair. I cannot. And once the butter, once the wedding was over, not only did she take the butterflies that she purchased and gave to her bridesmaids to wear, she took them back. And she had them dis create a display of the butterflies that they wore in their hair. They wore in their hair at the wedding. And so she could forever have these butterflies in a display, which she has hanging in her bedroom. So, so I'm going to assume that Katie Joy has never been married or partaken in a wedding because sometimes beforehand you'll be given a couturement or a bridesmaid's gifts to wear on your wedding day. More than one, perhaps, especially if you plan on keeping some for a keepsake. Such as, as such, such as, as, as follows, such as, as. Mm. Let's say you give your bridesmaid um, pearl earrings or a necklace, and then you give them an, an extra accessory that you would like to keep as a keepsake, especially if you're in a polygamous family with more than one sister wife. Like, what is wrong with that? And how do you know that the other sister wives didn't have other gifts given to them for being bridesmaids? You don't. You don't know, because you know why? The Wayback Machine's never going to tell you that. It's just, it's just not. These assumptions are ridiculous. And Drew was very much using Robin's wedding and Cody's Robin and Cody and Robin's wedding as a means to sort of show how great his products are. As I would do as well if I have a company or I'm starting a company and my friends are on a hit TV show on TLC. So... I was kind of stunned, one, that anyone would, anyone would want to wear, like, a dead insect in their hair. I hate bugs, even if it's a butterfly. I don't want any bugs to touch me. And, of course, Appalling Paulson is going to keep reiterating that the bugs are bugs, they're insects, and they're dead. Because butterfly sounds too pretty to say. Because we can't give them an inch. 
on bugs to wear insects to wear in their nose that are dead. And then on top of that, this whole industry is just raft with like. I'm sorry. Um, the whole industry is what? Raft. Let's let's hear that again. This whole industry is just raft with like scandal, and it just makes me. So the preserved butterfly industry is raft. Raft with scandal. They would be turned into jewelry. I it think that idiot Joy is thinking that people are taking butterflies and murdering them. As far as the United States goes and how they use their decorative preserved butterflies. But we're not. I don't think that's what this is. She's trying to super push. That's what this is. This is not what this is. Okay. This is not what this is. This is. At maximum, 20 gorgeous preserved butterflies used in a wedding funded or helped financially by TLC. And again, the family was strapped with cash. They had a brand new baby. They, Christine had literally just declared bankruptcy. Cody had declared bankruptcy a few years before. It's just shocking to me that on a wedding day, you would take this level of extravagance with just a dead bug. Now, for some people, they're not going to care, but... Someone had mentioned that they have these large amethyst, they have these like large amethyst clusters that are like on their floors in their house. And I was looking online and amethyst clusters, like the ones that are photographed at their house, literally can host, literally can, literally can be in the thousands upon thousands of dollars. And they have really large ones that are just sitting on their floor at Robin's house. Again, like if you get one that can sit on the floor at your house, you're talking about a product or a crystal that would cost thousands of dollars. So they buy really expensive crystals that are just adornments. Now she's going after the geode community regarding amethyst clusters found in Robin Brown's home. Natasha Denona palettes, anyone that are delegated to food for her hungry dogs? She spent tons of money to wear dead bugs. And where's all of our money? Well, all of the money is in frivolous spending, like wearing dead butterflies in your hair. I can't think of many brides that would actually think to spend this kind of money when they've lived so meagerly. Katie Joy cannot think of any brides that would actually think to spend this kind of money. Because Katie Joy cannot think about anyone other than herself. Are we surprised? I mean, it's not that hard to place yourself in someone else's shoes. Just, just for a minute or two, you can understand the excitement they must have felt finally being above the poverty line and being lifted up and, and just the happiness that must have been felt for the mothers of the children just and the children. How can you not understand this? I don't know. Have you never lived meagerly? God, you're such an a-hole. You are a judgmental a-hole. I'm just waiting for the day that they file bankruptcy. Now, again, you guys can do this with- Katie Joy is just waiting for this shameful day that the Browns file bankruptcy again. Katie Joy's husband also has filed bankruptcy. How shameful. Shame, shame, shame. The nerve of this toe-headed witch. I think it's gross to wear these bugs in your hair. We think that you're gross for rubbing your nose all the time. For having a gigantic boil on your face. For licking your makeup brushes and Q-tips. For snorting something or shoving it up your nose on camera. For burping constantly. For yawning with your mouth wide open, gaping. And even sometimes when you yawn, you have your hand extremely close to your mouth, yet can't seem to cover it. I mean, do you want to be here all night? What a frivolous thing at your wedding when you could have just gotten a cheap silk butterfly at the craft store and it would have looked just as good. Again, you guys, I've reached my tolerancy point with her and I'm going to have to go. So hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for being here if you are. And if you're not, I hope you are eventually. No more bird lady out.